Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Andy Maya and this channel is all about dance. Now, a lot of people struggle to make time for some exercises, for some workout. So I decided to create these 15 minute express sessions. And that consists of a warm up, a mini drum and a cool down. Okay, so either before work, in your lunchtime, after work or whenever you find 15 minutes, get to one of these and get your fix. All right, now a little disclaimer. Um, please ensure that um, you are in a safe environment, that you have enough space, that you are fit to dance. It is totally your responsibility to follow along in these videos. I can't take responsibility for it, but please ensure that you are in a safe environment um, and that you are fit to dance and then just enjoy it. Take it at your own time, okay? So if something is not quite there yet, do it slower, do less of it, and then build yourself up slowly, okay? For everyone else, let's just really dive into it. We're going to start soft and gentle. Just roll your shoulders a little bit, wiggle your body just to get ready. Then we're stepping out to the side, just really nice and gentle to the side and spread your wings just out to the side. Then we're stepping out and touch, step touch, just simple. Then we're gonna add a little bit of a bounce to it. And then if you want to take it a step further, we're going to add a double tap, tap tap, tap tap, tap tap. You don't have to do it, you can stick to the step and in, but if you wanted to do a little bit more, you can take your foot in and double tap. Working on agility and balance, we're gonna go forward side over, forward side over, forward side over. You just tap one, two and over. One, two and over. You need to make sure that you um, shift your weight. Now we're just taking a figure eight, walking forward and back. Keep your arms nice and relaxed on the sides and just really swing your hips. Nice figure eight, going forward and back. And then we'll get ready for hip drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Change. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, we go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Change last one on this side, then we're going into big hip circles. Take it around, take it around. Keep your upper body nice and upright. Nice straight back, we're going the other way. Now we're going to take hip lifts forward and back. So we're just gonna nicely walk a little bit forward, bringing it back. Then we're gonna do four on one side. One, two, three, and four on the other side. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna go side bumps on the spot. Then we're gonna take double hip bumps forward and back. Then we're going sideways, bump and bump and bump other way bump 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 we're now going to sway our arms from side to side shift your weight as you're doing this as well try to keep your arms nice and graceful and then we're going to go into a salsa step forward and back forward and back use your arms as well we're still in a warm-up forward and back let me change sides beautiful forward and back So then we're going to do soft hips, you can either do the boat move or really soft bumps and a little figure eight, one more bump and then we're going into a shimmy, really go for it, shimmy, do some nice wrist curls, keep smiling, keep breathing, add some snake arms or anything you like really for this um, shimmy section. Well done! So now we're gonna add a little bit of uh, further warm-up by using the very first belly line dance that I created last year. So we're gonna do five repetitions of this and then we go into the drill. All right then, let's go! Figure eight, one, two, three to the side, one, 
and two snake arms one two three and forward and back and figure eight to the side one and two we're turning face the other wall and we're going forward and back and one two three if you're not familiar with this one um i actually have a video where the combo is broken down and you can just um learn it and follow along with the follow along video otherwise here just try to follow along and just um keep dancing to stay warm before we get into the drill So we're starting off with our posture and we are bending our knees and we have our feet parallel. Then we're going onto our tiptoes and down again. We're warming up the ankles, up and down. Really try to keep your balance, have a good form with your body and up and down. Now we're going to bring your feet as close as possible together and really as you go up onto your tiptoes squeeze everything your butt your thighs and lift your kneecaps so make sure that you don't um, push through but lifting up then we go down again we're going to do it again lift it up onto your tiptoes hold your balance be nice and steady and lift those kneecaps and hold it bring it down now we're going to bring one foot in front of the other as close as possible onto our tiptoes squeeze those legs together they are now no longer soft so you need to squeeze everything and bring those kneecaps up you don't want to push through them but you want to lift them okay so the, the feet very close together so you want to kind of interlock them that helps you be steady and stay upright and then you really squeeze everything there is okay keep breathing <laughs> so now we're doing the same thing on the other side so we're bringing the other foot forward and you will probably have one that is easier than the other but try both anyway and then really squeeze and stay as steady as you can now we're going to go onto our tiptoes again holding it very very firm but now we start traveling you need tiny 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 tippy toe steps and you move to the side your hips should hardly be moving this is very dense so your knees um, are lifted up your legs are really squeezing together your buttocks are squeezed your body is upright and now we're going to use our hips and we're starting with a very loose shimmy so just up and down and then gradually bring it up to a proper shimmy um, a nice hip shimmy there obviously you are using your legs for the shimmy here we're going up again and now we're choo choo shimmying to the side so that is different from the travel that we just did so we have our feet parallel but really close together you want to be on your tiptoes and your hips are allowed to move and you take very small steps now we're going back to the squeezy one so you bring your feet in close together and you just travel it doesn't matter if you're going to the left or to the right but go both ways and really tiny tiny steps for that and you should really feel the difference between the loose choo-choo and the really tight ballet like um, travel so for this kind of traveling your legs are really tight and for the choo-choo one it's very very loose so your knees are soft at all times um, 
very different from the other one and you can obviously see that the energy of this move is very different your hip belt is moving differently and it's really important for you to feel that difference we're going to do the same thing again so we choo choo shimmy to the side obviously you can also choo choo forward and back and around this is just an exercise it's just a drill to help you understand the difference of course and again squeeze tightly if you can alternate your feet bring the left one forward bring the right one forward just for your own practice really and then even with that one try moving forward try moving backward make sure nothing is behind you um, but for this exercise here obviously we're going side to side just to really highlight the difference between those two travel steps and choo choo again and add some arms if you can if you're if you're still just really concentrating on getting the moves and the difference then stick to that and build the arms up later you take this at your own pace if you need to still work on your ankles with the up and down and strengthen them then that's fine you could do these moves um, with your feet flat on the floor as well it's not exactly the same but if you need to start there that's fine really try to make a difference between those squeezed legs and make sure that your kneecaps are lifted i want you to really squeeze them upward rather than backward okay i know it sounds weird when you haven't done this before but concentrate on your knees and what they do and how it feels as well it should not feel uncomfortable and yeah and then try to be as graceful with your upper body with your arms um, if that's the level that you're at already otherwise just really think about um, your feet how close are they together how quickly are you moving um, how smoothly are you moving with both of them um, try to get your hips moving as much as possible for the shimmy and um, we are now done shake it all out and we're going to cool down thank you very much
Thank you very much for joining me in this 15 minute express session. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It just gives you a full workout in a smaller amount of time. Okay, so um, let me know what you think about this if you want more of these. Um, at this present time, there are three that are going to be uploaded and if people like it, then I'm going to make more. All right then, thank you very much for watching. Take care, bye-bye.